It's the beginning of her senior year at Quinnipiac University, but accounting major Sarah Doors is already applying for her post-grad job. She has filled out many applications, kept up her GPA, and recently visited her school's career fair. Um, it's only you know September and I'm already trying to think where I want to end up for my future job. But now she and other college seniors may have to add another task to the job applying process a test. Next spring, about 200 universities across the country will be launching a college exit exam. The Collegiate Learning Assessment Plus is like the SATs, but the results can be shared with employers. With so many students looking for jobs and so few spots open, employers are looking for any way possible to judge future job candidates, and some say that this test might be helpful. I think it's just maybe another tool that we can use um, to consider, um, among other things, when we uh, make our decisions. But not all employers agree. No, I think uh, testing is overdone. I don't think all kids test the same. I know a lot of people that have never passed a CPA exam that are very bright and I'd love to have in my practice, and I don't get the opportunity. So I don't believe another exam uh, is going to do anything for me. A Heart Research Associates study released earlier this year concluded nearly all employers surveyed agree that job candidates' skills like critical thinking and communication are more important than their majors. That's the point of the test because some companies say grades and GPAs can be misleading. I don't think standardized tests can tell you if the person is going to be a good employee. I just don't. I think there are other tell signs that employers can extract from an interview or multiple interviews. Though the test won't be offered at her school this year, Sarah Doors is confident she showcased her skills to employers in other ways. Hopefully from the applications that I've sent in and the people that I've talked to, I will have a full-time job. Marcus Haroon, Q30 News.